Let's encourage these boys here at the way station too. This is not an easy job. Very impressive here on day two of the 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Right. Five twenty one point six. Five hundred twenty one point six pound blue marlin. The fabulous fisherman's prize of the sixty third annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament goes to the natural. Here goes the champagne. All right. All right, let's get some of the crew up here so we can take some pictures. Let's commemorate this. Jackson, you got it going on, buddy. <laughs> All right, here's our angler, Jonathan Fulcher. Again, 521.6 pounds. Right here in the midst of a thunderstorm at Big Rock Landing. Let's get plenty of pictures and we'll talk to Jonathan here in just a second. Yes, oh yeah. Yep, take all the pictures you can. We'll take as much time as you need here at Big Rock Landing. I think even Baby Jackson woke up here. I think Jackson is a good luck charm for sure. There you go. I've got a little something for Jackson, too. <laughs> it's his day at the Big Rock. Just a little. This boy doesn't stand a chance. He's going to be a hunter and a fisherman for the rest of his life.
Y'all, y'all take your time. Take all the pictures you want to take. T- today's your day here. Hey. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are ready. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If you're if you are if you are not a member of this crew, please step back behind our our lines here. I know you want to take some pictures. The f- the fish will be here for a little while, but let's let our guys celebrate here. We've also got a check. Are you Bob? Are you Bob? And of course, this level is sponsored by all of our friends from Johnson and Towers and MTU and Western Branch Diesel. And we've got Bob Shomo here with us. And Bob is going to help with the check presentation. Bob, you want, you want to say something real quick? I just want to say congratulations to the crew. Uh, great catch, very exciting. And I'm really happy to present this check on behalf of Johnson and Towers, Western Branch, and MTU Engines. All right, very, very good. I'm ready when you are. Yeah, hey guys, we we got a check here for you too. We'll start this all over again if you want to get your crew back up here. Maybe get Bob to help with the check presentation real quick. Bob, yeah, we're right there with Crystal. Yes, sir. Again, this this prize sponsored by Johnson and Towers and MTU Engines, Western Branch Diesel. Bob Shomo here. We've got some hats for the winners. And how about that check? $828,750 big ones right here. You boys look good in money is all I can tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, let's how about let's get the media shot of this check too. Girls. Jonathan, bring your check up here so you can smile for the local media. Come on up here. Jonathan. Bring your check over here. No, come this way. Your adoring public wants to see you. Come on. Jonathan. Jonathan, take some time to tell us how it feels standing here as the winner of the fabulous fisherman's level in the 63rd annual Big Rock Tournament. It's an amazing feeling. It's, it's epic. It's just bucket list, man. Bucket list. Did you ever dream that this might really happen? I had a lot of dreams about it, but uh, I never really thought it would happen. But the real things is to uh, the Heath and the great crew, Carl, Brian, and uh, uh, Trent there, man, they, they are awesome. And, it, it all came together, and it's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, there you were, and here you are. That's how it works sometimes, yeah, doesn't it? Um, you, 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 you've had a pretty good weekend so far. Yes, sir. Um, you know, tell us about your day. How did it start versus how did it end? Did you really think it could happen? Well, uh, we fished Monday and fished all, all day, didn't have a bite, and uh, slow fishing. We all, you know, went back at it this morning, and uh, 
just out of the blue, man. Just. Well, that's how it happens. You fought that fish for how long? Uh, about three and a half hours. Yep. It, uh, I didn't think I was going to make it, but I figured if I got out of the chair, somebody else might kill me, so I figured I'd kill the fish. <laughs> Well, there you go. Quite quite a thrilling day here on day two of the 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Natural wins it. I'm, I'm reminded of the, uh, of the movie with Robert Redford. It couldn't be any better. Uh, lightning coming out of the sky all around us. And here, uh, lightning has struck big time at Big Rock Landing. Jonathan, congratulations to you. I know some of the boys from our local media are going to want to talk to you. So step right over here and uh, go make some friends. All right, let's hear it for Jonathan Falcher, the crew of the natural. All right, we're going to talk to Jonathan here with the media. If you guys want to hand me your mics like we did yesterday, you're going to hold it yourself? All right, come on up, come on up here, guys. I'm going to let the media ask the questions, and I'll repeat the questions so the crowd can hear. Yeah, because everybody wants to hear what you got to say. But we'll do a little press conference right here with these guys. Congratulations, guys. Are you going to Disney World? No, I ain't going there. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Let me know when you're rolling. Okay, you guys going to ask the questions? How did it feel pulling the big fish in? Feeling of a lifetime. It was amazing. So I... I told Carl, the captain, that uh, I took a lot of newborn photos with our one-month-old, and uh, the one I really wanted was beside that blue marlin. <laughs> it's amazing. That all you need? Okay. All right. I think we got one that's going live here. Well, you guys, uh, you guys enjoy this. I know it's a, it's a, it's a dream of a lifetime. Eight hundred twenty-eight thousand to start. But that's not all, right? If that fish holds up, you could win up to $2.3 million. Would you go to Disney World then? Yeah, I would. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. We got a really good group of guys together, and they work super hard, and uh, it just everything came together. So it was just awesome day. Everything worked out. So thankful for it, and uh, just it's unimaginable feeling. It's. Have you ever done anything like this before? I've done a lot of fishing. Uh, fished at Big Rock a few times, and uh, we we actually weighed a few fish on another boat. Um, but I've never been to angler and uh, caught caught a few blue marlins. But that's the largest one I've ever caught for sure. Yep. Now, I know this is like this is the goal to get something like this. So what's next? Go back. Uh, we'll go back at it. We got two more days to fish and see what happens. But uh, it's just you're not you're not going to sit back on your laurels on this one and wait and see if it wins the big money. I, I shouldn't say the big money, the bigger money. Yeah, we're we're going to go back at it and you know, see what see what else will happen. Are you it's, buying a round of beer tonight? Are you buying a round of beer tonight? Two rounds of beer tonight, I believe. Right, I think we're going to. I want to get the exact moment that you saw how big this thing was. What was your reaction? It uh, it just came came in and automatically hit a hit a plug that we had out on uh, like a left short and um, just a lot of white water and just way way back behind the boat. It was kind of hard to tell how big the fish was and it stayed down so long. Um, yeah, we really had a lot of uncertainty and um, just kept at it and it was it was the right one. Definitely worth it. <laughs> yes. yep. Did you guys hit rough, rough weather coming in? Uh, it was it was good most of the ride, and um, yeah, once we got close to the inlet there, it, it got a little rough. But how was the water when you hooked the fish? Uh, not too bad. Maybe you know three foot seas or something. It's, it's not too bad. How long was the fight? Uh, about three and a half hours. Yeah. yeah it was. Well, congratulations, guys. Enjoy it.
Hey, Jonathan. Jonathan, one more, one thing we haven't, we haven't talked about. You're also in first place. You know what the prize money is for first place? I think it's somewhere around 2.5 million. Right now you're looking at $2,506,000 if this fish holds up to win the tournament. So the way the rules work is this $828,000 prize is won. But if this fish holds up, we're going to add to that $1,677,000, potentially $2,506,000 here. But well, good luck, boys. There are more fish out there to be caught, too.
Congratulations, guys. A great day of fishing. Thank you. 
All right. Welcome back here uh, to our continuing coverage of the 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. It is golden hour here at Big Rock Landing, sponsored by Michelob Ultra. And I'm delighted to be joined for the Michelob Ultra Golden Hour by Todd Dickerson. You'll remember Todd as the winning angler on the top dog Big Rock tournament setting, record setting fish. How about that? Todd, how does it feel to be back at the scene of the crime, so to speak? Feels good to be home. Feels good to be home for sure. Um, this place holds such a special place in not only my heart, but our whole family's heart. Um, a lot of great memories here, and all you guys make this thing so special. It's incredible. Yeah. You know, we've uh, we've just seen some guys win 800000 bucks or so, which is quite an accomplishment. Um, Todd, your fish weighed over 900 pounds, interrupted me as I was giving the speech at the uh, awards banquet on Saturday night a couple of years ago. Um, you know, when you sit here and watch this, uh, you know, how, how does that compare? You guys, you guys were worn out that day. <laughs> that, that's to put it lightly, Tommy, for sure. Um, you know, I mean, look, this this speaks to to the quality tournament you guys are running. We go up and down the East Coast. You know, we're going to New Jersey this year, Ocean City for a bunch of tournaments, North Carolina for a bunch, and the reason this thing grows is because of you guys. Yeah. Um, and it's incredible. Well, and, and I appreciate that, but I think you guys probably have something to do with it too. Uh, you know, we, we certainly think we put on a good show, and we certainly feel like we our competitors and our entrants are entertained and well taken care of, and uh, I hope you'll agree with us. But, but the folks like you who go up and down the East Coast and say, hey, guys, you know, you need to fish that Big Rock tournament. There's something special going on there. And uh, we appreciate all that you do for us in that regard. So what's um, – you, you mentioned traveling for the top dog. Where where have you been and how's your season been so far? Um, so we've been in North Carolina since we stayed here this winter. Uh, fished the Hatteras Village Open. Um, we got lucky enough and did very well there. We won that one there you go. Um, for the second time in a row. Um, fished the Swansboro two weeks ago, I guess it was. Uh, saw a lot of action. Unfortunately, couldn't bring home the big one, but uh, there's a fishing story involved in there too. I think is there not? There is. There yeah, is. that's right. Sounds like we don't want to go there. I know. You know, the it's big a ones, heartbreaker. The we'll big just ones leave that get that. away yeah, are, exactly. are boy, they are tough yeah. to think about. I mean, I was I had a lot of uh, sympathy for you know the boat yesterday. The so, sure and yeah, Cameron and absolutely, yeah, Cameron. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Cameron's a great guy, and you know, I, I was hoping I could come over and shake his hand. That you know, yeah. he broke our record. I mean, we want somebody to break our record sure sure so yeah. well that's that's awful magnanimous of you um you you guys are great champions uh uh in life number one well, thank and you. you you've been very generous to the big rock tournament with with your time uh you, you know with with just spreading the good the good word about the tournament we're we're very appreciative of that um tournament record holder here and I would say you are welcome back here at the Big Rock Tournament anytime. So thank, thank you for spending your time with us today. Um, I know it brings back a lot of memories. And, it does, uh, for sure. E even, even when it's raining, Todd, <laughs> it's still, you know, it's a great day to be here. Absolutely. Uh, we were talking just a few minutes ago. Old Jake the mate would say, um, he'd say, well, welcome to a rainy but still beautiful Moorhead City waterfront. I don't see any rain so, out there. Yeah, All so, I see is good times. There you go. There you go. That's <laughs> that's the uh, that's the right attitude to have, Todd. Absolutely. And we certainly do appreciate it. So, uh, Todd, again, thank you for joining us on the Michelob Ultra Golden Hour. Right back at the scene of uh, one of your greatest triumphs. I'm, and we're just delighted uh, that you came back to be with us again today. So, thank you again. Wish you the best of luck also for the thank, rest of this year's tournament. Thank you, Tommy, and okay. thank everybody. Our live coverage of the 63rd Annual Big Rock Tournament will continue here, rain or shine. We're doing it right here live at Big Rock Landing.
in business, y'all. The rain is kind of bothering us a little bit, but the show will go on here during the 63rd annual Big Rock Tournament. Uh, no more billfish coming to the scales today, but we do have uh, plenty of competition for game fish, and you're seeing some dolphins come in here. I think this is uh, the drop call here. Is this it? 19 and a half pound dolphin. Just to give you an idea, the, the boats and anglers are competing for daily prizes, $2,000 a day for the largest game fish weighed in during the day. And uh, $2,000 in first place, $1,000 in second place. So it does make a uh, trip to Big Rock Landing potentially worthwhile. And of course the anglers get their fish back the guys here at the weigh station measure, get some data, send them over to the NC State Seamass booth where they cut their guts out. They take their stomachs out, take a few bones out of their ears, and uh, take them back to the lab, do a little research on uh, offshore species. So it just works very well here. Our guys know exactly what they're doing. Let me kind of give you a rundown here of what the leaderboard looks like as well in my rain-soaked score sheet. We did see last night, right before the scales closed at 7 o'clock, um, Dolphin came in weighing 41 pounds. I'm looking for it on the low profile. Sam Frank was our angler, 41.4 pounds. Now get a load of this, we just saw $800,000 go out the door. The winner take all dolphin prize is $529,125. Yeah, that's something to be excited about, that's for sure. And just for an update on the rules, the scales will stay open until seven o'clock for game fish tonight. So we're looking for wahoos, dolphins and tunas in the game fish category. So while you're here, enjoy yourself on the Moorhead City waterfront. Today is Kids Day over at the Big Rock store. You can order any kids apparel and we'll ship it to your home or to your friend or your grandchild for free. So mill around, visit our sponsors, have a great seafood dinner here on the Moorhead City waterfront. Visit the Big Rock store and just enjoy yourself here. Looks like the rain might be ending, hopefully, which would be great. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks, Randy. I've asked Randy Gregory, our waymaster and in-house scientist here to come over and let's talk about this unique blue marlin, Randy. Um, it, it has a bill, but not much of one. Yeah, so we, we think when we see these fish, we think that uh, they use their bill all the time to catch fish and they really don't. <clears throat> They really, when we, when you get an opportunity to go out and fish for them or get to see one feeding beside you, a lot of times they're just grabbing, grabbing the bait, and uh, and they have they don't have teeth. They have the it's like fifty grit sandpaper. It's the it's the it'll take the hide right off of you. So a lot of times they just open their mouth and swallow them. Now they will use the bill. They will use their bill. And they'll try to hit hit things, and and it, it'll take the meat right off of a tuna, and and they'll go around. So, but they don't have to have the bill. We see this quite often when we're releasing fish. There was a really good picture. I think it made it on Instagram of the Annie C had one the other day that had no bill. It looked like a tuna. So something happened to this fish at some point in time. It also has a great big scar on the side of it. Um, <clears throat> But, and we can see there's some trauma on this bill. So at some point in time, he hit a tuna a little too hard maybe when he was little, or maybe he, um, 
you know, he was being released and something happened to his bill. Something, sometime in this fish's life, it had some kind of trauma on its bill. So when they're little, they had this really long bill and something could have happened to him when he was like this big, but they grow really fast. They get to like a, a hundred pounds, 90 pounds their first year. And, um, probably after that, you know, that bill gets a little harder, you know, something. So maybe it was early in life. Maybe it was, you know, maybe you had to tune it too hard or, or something. But, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, this fish is, I told the captain, I told Carl, I said, he's got a lot of character. She's, she's got a lot of character. Also, all, all these fish that you'll see are females. The, the males don't get much over a couple hundred pounds. So anything you see at the Big Rock is going to be a female fish. Um, so this is a female. So at some point in time, she probably had some stories to tell. So pretty, pretty cool looking fish, I think. Any speculation, Randy, on, on some of the scarring here? I mean, it, just anything at all? I don't know. Maybe, maybe again, maybe it happened earlier in life and, you know, we all carry scars. I got a good one on my knee from a sidewalk. So maybe it was something like that, that, that happened to that fish. But I mean, <clears throat> from what the captain said, it was a good, healthy fish. <laughs> Sounds like it was a good, healthy fish. Randy, thanks for, uh, thanks for the science lesson. Of course, thanks for all you do here. Uh, Randy Gregory. So, so we talked about the age of these things. So this fish might be 10 or 15 years old i mean so the, they get they grow really fast at the start because you're out there in the ocean it doesn't pay to be a little bait size fish you'll get eaten real quick so they grow really fast at the start and and then when they get when they get what seems like they're big maybe to us but maybe not to them their growth really slows down uh, quite a bit so they're going to do most of their growing their first year and then after that the growth really really kind of slows down so this fish might be 10 or 15 years old Thanks for the science lesson, Randy. Randy travels around the uh, coast of North Carolina uh, acting as waymaster. He and his partner, George Lott, here uh, bring the North Carolina Billfish Series up and down the coast, and we're delighted always to have Randy and George uh, as our waymasters. We got a couple of uh, future Big Rock anglers here. Maybe one day, huh? Everybody got one All right, let's go get two more. We'll, we'll see these pictures, George, maybe in what, 15 or 16 years? That'd be a great story to tell, wouldn't it? Let's again just, just kind of review what has happened here today. Certainly the highlight is uh, this fish hanging up here, the 521 pound blue marlin caught on natural, uh, vaulting into first place here on day two of the 63rd annual Big Rock Tournament. Of course, winning the fabulous Fisherman's Prize level of over $800,000 and putting them in a position to walk away with a little over two and a half million dollars this year. Our dolphin leader is 41.4 pounds. Our tuna leader, 52.3 pounds. Today, 12 blue marlins caught and released, four white marlins and one sailfish. So we'll see what happens. We have four days of competition left. This is day two. We'll wrap it up here on Saturday. Fishing will end at two o'clock on Saturday afternoon. And of course, we invite you to be with us the, the rest of the week. And of course, Big Rock TV will be here with you to bring it to you live if you can't make it here to the scales. All right, George is making friends here. More future Big Rock winners are making an appearance here at Big Rock Landing. It certainly does add an awful lot of excitement to have a, uh, a blue marlin here at the scales. There's no doubt about it. And George is a ham.
right, another group of future Big Rock anglers right there. You want to come up here and do a First Citizens Bank commercial real quick? <laughs> yeah, hold on while we're, we're taking pictures. My friend Gordon Jethro from First Citizens Bank. I got to get out from in front of that speaker. Glad to have you here. Well, we're good to be here. Glad to be sponsoring again. So. You showed up at the right time. It quit raining at least as hard as it was. I was here during all the rain, so but we glad to see the glad to see the first 500. So, wasn't that some they good potential clients for First Citizens Bank right there? No doubt. <laughs> no doubt. About I'll send that. you their name and number. We'll see you. <laughs> Thank you to First Citizens Bank for their ongoing sponsorship of the Big Rock tournaments. Come on, George. Well, George, you, you know, it, it's all about family here at the Big Rock. And this does remind me to make another shameless plug for the first Big Rock Kids Tournament coming up in July. Might be some dreams started right here. Some smiles, at least. Be careful, Dad. Some of that. You, I know. Look, look. This one. I'm. I'm picking this one right here. He's all smiles right here. This is a future Big Rock winner right here. Some of these little girls, I don't know, they're, they're thinking, what in the world is happening? I see them. You're practicing for stardom, young man. I think I'm gonna go get my hat. I'm gonna go get my hat again. Say again. Oh yeah, <laughs> we sign them up right now, George. Yeah, I got to put my official Big Rock uh, umbrella hat on here. You too can own one of these great looking hats. Works well.
Yes, sir. How about that? You come right on up here, sir. You, we, we'll get somebody to take your picture. Grace. George, we host heroes here all the time. We're glad to have them show up. Come on over here. Come on over here. Tell us who you are and where you're from. I'm Tom Barry. I'm Cary, North Carolina. Come down in 2006. My brother Ali's New York City fireman. You are not from Cary. You might be from Cary, North Carolina now, but you are not from Cary, North Carolina. I'll never lose it. Never Hiya, lose Tommy. It. Al Barry, Staten Island, New York. Uh, my uh, engine company, 65 FDMY, we were the last company assigned to the North Tower and the last full company to come out of the North Tower. Yes. Well, we're, we're honored by your presence, sir. Glad, glad to have you here. And if we could, uh, you know, allow you to come take a picture, it's the very least that we could do. Are you enjoying your time here at Big Rock Landing? Fourth year here. Enjoy it every year. Yes, it's great. Thank you, Tommy. That's great. That's great. Um, how about now you're from Cary. You come down often. I see you got your Atlantic Beach shirt on. Yes, yes. Uh, I love it down here. We, we come down, my wife and my two children. They're grown now, but we love it down here. They say, you know, welcome to paradise. You know, I'm getting here as fast as I can, right? Correct, correct. <laughs> well, listen, we're, we're glad to have you. Thanks for speaking up. It's our pleasure to have you here at Big Rock Landing. Thanks, Thanks sir. Thank yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, guys, we, we will be, the scales again are open until 7 o'clock. You know, the, the rules say you do not have to call in your game fish, so we really don't know who's coming. Sometimes they'll, somebody will call on the radio and say, here we come, but really it's like a surprise. You never can tell what you're going to get here. But, of course, we'll be here with you to bring it to you live. Very best that we can. George is entertaining everybody. George, there's nothing like a little energy brought with a blue marlin at the scales. Isn't it the truth? Isn't it the truth? Yeah, might as well. What do we got here? Oh, boy. All right, y'all, we've got some great sponsors. Um, our friends from Napa, the Napa Know How people, the Walker Auto Parts Group. We've got a, uh, we're going to do, we've got a mystery, uh, something in the box here. I've got to come up with a clue. Looks like we've got a cleaning bucket full of supplies for whoever guesses what's in the box. So I'll pick up the prize. Andrea's going to help me. You can't look in the box. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What are we going to call this? Hmm. I've got to think of a hint. Gracious sakes. They spring these things on me at the last minute. All right, it's silver. Start getting it. I mean, just let me have it. Come on, what is it? No. It's not a knife. It's not a cup. It's not a wrench. It's not a Clark spoon, but that's a pretty good one. Now, this is something that you would find uh, maybe in a... Um, 
maybe an auto body shop or something like that. Oh, it's a paint sprayer. Our man right here. So we have got a, uh, a little swag bucket here from our friends at Napa Auto Parts. All kinds of stuff in there. Maybe looks like a nice big rock hat in there, too. Tell us who you are and where you're from. Uh, Charles Sharon from MRI. You traveled a long way to get here, huh? I did. Right in the middle of a thunderstorm. Right in the middle of it. Well, thank you for being here. Thanks for playing today. Thank All right. We get, to keep, we get to keep the spray gun, too. Henry's, Henry has flown the coop, George. No, yeah, I'm not going to sing. But happy, I will say happy birthday to you. <laughs> no, I am not singing. Sorry. I leave that to Henry. So George is giving tours here at Big Rock Landing. We got to keep George busy, me busy too for that matter. So if you want to take a little tour. Come on over and George will entertain you for a little while. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I agree. Let's see, George. We just had the 24th Lady Angler Tournament. I, she's about the 34th tournament winner. What do you think? She'll be a junior angler in 10 years. Okay, I go along with you. So George is being very gracious, giving tours. Right over here beside the uh, Sunbrella Dockside Studio. Here's our stinking genius on the uh, on the mystery gift from uh, Napa Auto Parts. Good man. Thanks for coming from Emerald Isle. George, we got a whole fishing team here. <laughs> George, I'm going to give you this microphone in a minute. You're doing great. There you go. Oh, look at look at mom. Don't look at me. Look at mom. <laughs> All right. While George is entertaining, we've got a a couple of visors here from. Our great friends at EJW Outdoors here. Stevie Levy's in the house. This is this is obviously the place to be if Stevie Levy's here. So let's let's do the who traveled the farthest. Where's everybody from? Louisiana. Louisiana, that's pretty good. I'll give you one because Louisiana's a long way away from here. Where? Little Washington. I thought you said Maine. Where's everybody from? New Hampshire, hold on. Hold on, little man over here. You traveled a long way. Where else are people from? 
I mean, these these are nice uh, visors, you know. We're giving them away. Zebulon, nah, come on. We got to do better in Zebulon, North Carolina. Okay, hey, all right, I, I'm, I'm with you. That's a good answer. That is that is a great that is a great answer. The best answer we could have gotten. Wherever the Marine Corps sends me, that's where I'm from. Yes, sir. All right. So bon, bon, some huh? No, that's not Bahama. That's Bahama. I know the difference. You got to go back to Bahama. Richmond, Virginia. Uh, all right. We're glad you came from Richmond, Virginia to spend your afternoon with us. Hey, that's great. Thank you. Makes me feel good. Glad you came back to visit with us. A little, a little more excitement today, huh? Yeah, it, all, it always makes it a little bit better here at Big Rock Landing with a, with a nice big blue marlin. Thanks to our friends from EJW Outdoors, too, for being a great sponsor of all the Big Rock tournaments. Can, can can we get a um, can we get a model disclosure on him? Cause I think we'll use that. Can we make an ad out of that? Somebody. Can we get him to sign a model release, Carly? George, you're a good talent scout. George, you're, you're really doing great. All right, we, I know. Got the boots. George, got the boots. Got the official apparel on. Yeah, got the, uh, the 63rd Big Rock hoodie on. Again, you too can bring one of these official Big Rock tournament hoodies home with you. Available right across the street at the Big Rock store. All the profits from that store go to charities here in Moorhead City and Eastern North Carolina. I've suggested we ought to sell a spot up here. Make a donation to charity and have your picture made. You know. But anyway, it's just as fun. One way or the other, it's just as fun, isn't it?
You want to do a Napa Auto commercial here real quick? Yeah, you do. I bet you do. Come on. You're acting like you want to say something. <laughs> Dan, Dan Walker is never for a uh, at a loss for words. So, Dan, we, we, we did just have a uh, couple of giveaways. Thank you for uh, your continued sponsorship here. Tell us who you are and where you're from. I'm Dan Walker, and I'm from uh, eastern North Carolina and central North Carolina. We are fortunate enough to have stores all throughout central and east North Carolina, but um, basically our family is a three-generation uh, small family business and been able to expand in the auto parts business and do some in the marine side, do some in the PBE side. So it's been fun to be involved. This is our 10th anniversary of being involved with the tournament. And again, it's uh, great for eastern North Carolina. Uh, it's great for the state. You got a nice new store in Moorhead too. We do. We have a wonderful new store and it's big inventory, big hub store, and uh, great folks work there. Have a store in Otway, which is uh, our, another Carteret County, and then down or, down at uh, Cedar Point. Dan is uh, Dan. Thank you for your sponsorship. Of course, we we appreciate it, Dan, and uh, all the folks, uh, the Napa Know How people do a great job here. As a sponsor for the Big Rock, we're delighted to have you again. You, you need to have a uh, a picture up here. Or you you need to get in line with George. Okay. All right. Hey, hey George. Dan, Dan Dan has got next. Okay. Come on, Napa guys, let's get your pictures up here. Yeah, make sure you get the uh, make sure you get the company banner in the background too. Again, it takes an awful lot of sponsors to make uh, the Big Rock tournaments happen, and certainly. Dan and his crowd, the Napa know-how crowd, are somebody we're very thankful for. They've been with us, as Dan said, now for 10 years. Dan obviously dressed appropriately for the day. And Dan is also uh, involved with us with the Big Rock Kids Tournament. So, Dan, tell us about that a little bit, too. Uh, I love the Big Rock Kids Tournament. It's where uh, the kids are first. It uh, supports the Boys and Girls Club of uh, Central North Carolina. And it's a transition of a group that was started over in the Beaufort area, and now we're bringing it to Moorhead City. So I encourage everybody in July to fish the tournament and then come out. Absolutely. We'll be right here again, Carly, July 14, 15, 16, and 17, the 14th through the 17th. I did read the memo this morning. I got it. So, uh, again, right here at Big Rock Landing, uh, our third tournament of the year. So, uh, Dan, again, we're delighted to have you, and thank you for your continued sponsorship there as well. Thank you, Tommy. Absolutely. Thank you, Dan. Folks, Dan Walker from Napa Auto Parts. Thank you, guys. All right, another model here with Big Rock Attire on. I'm sure we have a name for that performance shirt. But that a Wet and Wild Dolphin performance long sleeve. And he wears it very well, George. Yeah. George, he's much better looking than you. So we got we got a shirts like this available over there in the Big Rock store. Make your child happy. Go buy him one. Support Support our local charities here when you do so. And if you want to get here early, I walked in the office this morning about 7.30, and it was the store was already open. Look, Dad's got on the Big Rock hat, wears it very well.
George, I'm going to have to stop your uh, tour of the way station for just one second. We got to go back to work. We got another, uh, well, we got a dolphin and a wahoo. Somebody's going to eat well, if nothing else, tonight. Again, a couple of thousand bucks for, for first place daily game fish. Second place daily game fish prizes are $1,000. Looks like 24.3 pounds is our first place dolphin today. Second place looks like 19 and a half. Is that right, Michelle? Second place, 19 and a half. Yep, so, so second place dolphin is 19 and a half. Well, this, and this one's not gonna quite do it, 13.2 pounds. But right now that Wahoo is looking like a $2,000 Wahoo. That's the only one of the day thus far. So again, anglers are competing for prizes, daily prizes in the game fish division. So it does pay to make the run over here. This dolphin's not quite gonna do it. But this will be the first Wahoo we've seen today. Stands a chance to win 2,000 bucks. Randy Gregory was telling us a few minutes ago about the sandpaper mouth of a blue marlin. Well, this, this wahoo is the exact opposite. Lots of razor sharp teeth here, and you best be careful. Be careful then, George. All right, an 11.2 pound wahoo. Looks like a Wahoo, only a little bit smaller, but still, $2,000 right here. Looks like Jules Williams. Maybe it'll hold up. Well, there's the boat over there. They heard it too, huh? So a little bit of money and you're gonna eat well. One of the best eating fish you'll find. If you find it on a restaurant menu around here, you ought to try it, it's great. Jules, come on over here for a second. First of all, tell us who you are and where you're from. Uh, my name is Jules Williams. I'm from Kenston, North Carolina. Welcome to Big Rock Land. And who are you fishing with this week? Uh, the Cath and Grace right out there. Yeah, we, we saw them. You, you had a, a couple of game fish. Tell us about this wahoo. So the wahoo was a, our first fish of the day. Uh, we were super pumped. We started fishing a little bit shallower, just trying to pick up some game fish. And uh, we were fortunate to catch that wahoo. So that was an awesome start to the day. We, we knew there wasn't one weighed yesterday, so we were pumped about it. Uh, we, we haven't had too many folks visit us today. Tell us about the conditions today. So uh, it wasn't too bad out there. It got a little uh, some rain squalls moved through around the shoals. It was pretty choppy on the shoals coming in and uh, had a pretty good thunderstorm out around Cape Lookout. So glad we made it through there. A few lightning strikes, but made it through. Yeah, we, we had a pretty good thunderstorm here, too. How about fishing today? What was it like fishing today? Weather conditions? Uh, it was a little bit choppy. I mean, it was probably, 
I don't know, it wasn't, wasn't too rough out there. Yesterday, the swells were a lot bigger. The uh, south wind, I think, kind of slicked that Gulfstream out a little bit. But um, So it wasn't too bad compared to yesterday. Are uh, you going again tomorrow? Uh, I think we're going to lay tomorrow. So we fished yesterday and today. So Yeah, two, two days in a row is tough. So enjoy your day off tomorrow. Congratulations. You're on the leaderboard here at Big Rock Land in the 63rd uh, Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Best of luck to you the rest of the week. Uh, Jules, Jules mentioned that they're going to lay tomorrow. So the Big Rock is a six-day tournament. Started yesterday. This is day two. And you can fish four days, which means you have to lay at the dock for two days. And most importantly, you have to let the tournament know that you are laying at the dock. You turn in an official lay day form. If you do not, you are counted as fishing, whether you are fishing or not. So you have to pay attention to the rules. You have to abide by the rules. Somebody always gets caught pinned to the dock. And we think they're fishing because they didn't turn in a lay day form. So again, the scales will be open until seven. Another dolphin coming in here. Eleven and a half pounds. Not going to move our leaderboard here at the moment. Again, two thousand dollars for that first place game fish. A thousand dollars for second. But of course, the winner take all dolphin. Okay, got it. Yeah, the winner take all dolphin here. That prize is a pile. And I'm trying to find it again on my sheet. $529,000 for that one. But we got a junior angler, 13 year old. Graham Leonard on the cut and dry. 11 and a half pound dolphin. What a thrill to be able to be here at Big Rock Landing. Dad, maybe? Graham, Graham, come, come, come on. You, you can't get out of here without talking to me. Welcome to Big Rock Landing. Tell us who you are and where you're from. Uh, my name is Graham Leonard, and I'm from Wilmington, North Carolina. Well, welcome to Big Rock Landing. How many uh, Big Rock tournaments have you fished in, Graham? It's my first one. Coming back again? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your day a little bit real quick. Um, I guess we just woke up really early in the morning and then got out, um, out there and just tried to see what we can get, and it was really fun. It was we called it. All right, who you who you fishing with? Was this dad that was with you? Yeah, that's yeah, that's my dad. There you go. Look, hey, look, smile for dad over there. Say something. Say hey, dad. Hey, dad. <laughs> Say miss your mom. Miss your mom. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations to you. It's great to see junior anglers here at Big Rock Landing. Good luck the rest of the week. George, here you go again. Another pretty girl. I'm not surprised. <laughs> All right, y'all, we got an otter making an appearance over here, too. Come on, let's get our camera over here. Check this out. I bet you he's hungry. Off he goes. Oh, there he is again. Hey, Randy, come over here and tell us about these otters real quick if you got just a second. <laughs> so, somebody with some learning here better tell me, ex explain this to me. <laughs> well, what y'all can't see is we got uh, a couple. Uh, is there one or two of them, guys? 
too. We got a couple of our resident uh, river otters that uh, kind of come and visit the waterfront from time to time. And uh, they, when there's a lot of activity, they, they come by and uh, they kind of beg for scraps. They're, they're real cute. Um, but they, they uh, we'll see them at the charter boats a lot of times. You know, you just they beg for a few fish scraps. But they they spend a lot of time over at Sugarloaf. And they're just up and down the dock. They eat a lot of crabs and fish, yeah. And um, so the guys are over here with NC State are uh, are uh, getting the bait and stuff out of the fish. They're doing a diet study and things, and so they have a few little pieces of crab and stuff. So they're over here enjoying it. But if you uh, if you come out here on the dock in the evenings and stay real quiet and stuff, you may get the chance to see them as well. Yeah, and I, I have seen them uh, leaving the dock here, showing up for a charter, and they sleep in the tailpipes of the boats, believe it or not. About the time you hit the boat and fire it up, the otters will come flying out of the tailpipes. So it's really something. No telling what you're going to see here at Big Rock Landing. Friends, we are getting ready to be visited by the El Cazador. You can see this beautiful boat out here in front of Big Rock Landing. They have done the tournament the great honor of taking one of our Big Rock Big Heroes fishing today. And we're going to welcome the El Cazador here to Big Rock Landing along with our Big Rock Big Hero here shortly. Several years ago, Salt Life teamed up with the Big Rock to help um, recognize some, some heroes, active duty service people who get to come down to the Big Rock tournament and enjoy a day of fishing, sometimes something they've never done before with, um, with one of these beautiful boats. 
the El Cazador has been a um, participant in that program from day one. And certainly we want to thank Salt Life for all of their sponsorship and time, as well as these boats who give so generously of their time and take uh, our Big Rock Big Heroes fishing. Well, Big Rock fans, let's welcome the El Cazador here to Big Rock Landing. Got one of our Big Rock big heroes aboard today. They've been very generous with their time since day one in this program. Have fished in the Big Rock tournament for many, many years. Always great to see this beautiful boat come back to Moorhead City.
you can see our big rock big hero down here getting congratulations from the entire crew the ricks family A lot of respect here, no doubt about it. Andrew, do we have our uh, print from Steve also? Yeah, we want to thank the Ricks family on the El Cazador and the entire crew for doing this. Thank you very much. We really appreciate your generosity to take our Big Rock Big Hero today and every year that they've been in the tournament. And we're getting away in a mahi at the same time. A little, dolphin, a little more dolphin action here. A 13.6 pound dolphin. Not going to shake up the leaderboard, but might be a catch of a lifetime here. Yeah, a lot of these guys have never been uh, fishing in saltwater before, and I think this uh, Anthony, probably his, uh, his first go-round in saltwater. Anthony, you're starting at the top too, by the way. Anthony, come on over here for a second. We've got, uh, we want to talk to you, and we've got a, another gift for you here, too. So c come on over here for just one second. First, first of all, tell us who you are and what branch of the service you're in. Yeah, I'm a specialist, Anthony Maranti. I'm enlisted in the U.S. Army with the 82nd as a paratrooper. All right, 82nd Airborne right here. That's what I'm talking about. Let's show Anthony some love here. Anthony, tell us about your day today. Yeah, today, today was really a bucket list item. I've, I fish from the shore, and I've always dreamt of just coming out offshore. And everybody and their crew on that boat, uh, Bobby, his crew, his family, they're, they're the nicest people I've ever met. And to allow me to come on the boat and join them and feel like part of the team was just, it really was an honor. It really was. Well, it's, it's easy to honor guys like you, Anthony. You, you guys are true heroes. We say it all the time. The selflessness that you exhibit every day allows us to do this every year right here at Big Rock Landing. We owe you a great, great, a great debt of gratitude. We've got another gift for you. I know you've, you've been decked out by Salt Life already. This is a, a special print by our tournament artist, Steve Goyon. Um, we'll get you the, the one that has your name on it for sure. Okay, you've already got yeah, it? Great. Yeah. Okay, well, great. Show, show that to the people here, the folks that might not have been here yesterday. Uh, this beautiful, beautiful print by uh, our tournament artist, Steve Goyon. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Captures everything uh, that is the Big Rock, Big Hero program. So, Anthony, let, let's turn around here and talk to, uh, talk to your crew uh, as they get ready to leave. What do you got to say to these guys? Hey, I, I really, truly, truly appreciate it letting me come out there on the boat. I know yesterday I spent all day trying to hold my stomach, but <laughs> I got over that. And today and yesterday really was a blast. Bobby and everybody else, I really appreciate it. And 
like I said, I'll, I'll keep in touch and let you know how everything's going with training and everything. Thank you so much. All right, guys, thanks to the Rick family, the Rick's family, the crew on the El Cazador. Anthony, congratulations to you. Thank you so much for your service. Enjoy the rest of your time here at the 63rd Annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Thank you guys so much. Absolutely. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it for our Big Rock Big Hero here. All right, let's say thank you again to the El Cazador for their participation in the Big Rock Big Hero program. Thanks, guys. Wish you the best for the rest of your week.
All right, let's bring back Anthony one more time over here. Get his photo with uh, with this eight hundred twenty-eight thousand dollar blue marlin, maybe. Hard to believe, isn't it? And Crystal's got a few more things for you. You know, we aim to please here. We've we've cleaned your dolphin for you. Got you a little adult beverage there to wash it down with. Be careful, don't open that one around me. Thanks to, <laughs> thanks again to Michelob Ultra. Yeah, and hats for uh, hats for the rest of your friends. I know there were six others who came down with you, Anthony. Just great to host you here at the Big Rock Tournament. Again, Anthony, congratulations. Thank, thank you again. I was going to say, George, that's as nice as they've been to, other all, uh, to each other all day long, right? There you go. If he can do it, I can do it too. Come on, George. Line them up here. George, they got it going on right there. They got it. They are grinning from ear to ear. Thanks for visiting us here at Big Rock Landing. Of course you do, George. I know. No, 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 no. <laughs> George, I'm not the least bit surprised.
George, you, you're just not that pretty. It would be a improvement in the looks department, George. All right, everybody. Well, day two here of the 63rd annual Big Rock Tournament is coming to a close. Obviously, the story of the day is the 521.6-pound Blue Marlin caught on natural, taking the fabulous Fishman's Prize of well over $828,000 and jumping into first place here on the 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. That prize is a over $1.6 million. You're looking at right now $2.5 million here as the uh, prize for the natural as they take the lead here on day two of the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. We've got four days left. Uh, boats will start laying here, and but activity will continue on at Big Rock Landing, and we'll bring it to you live, of course, on the bigrock.com, on our Facebook page, and on YouTube. So like us, subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends, of course. It all helps us raise money for worthwhile charity. So as day two comes to a close, uh, we say congratulations to Natural as they take the lead in the 63rd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament, and we'll be back here with you again tomorrow. Thanks for joining us.